Keyshawn, your response to what Aaron Rodgers said. I'm completely with Aaron Rodgers, 195%. He can do everything on the side. He's not, he's not, he's not playing this year. He can do everything on the side, but what happens in these situations, decisions are made from upper management. Coaches make these decisions and say, hey, we like to have him actually throwing around offense alignment, throwing with defenders. We need somebody like Aaron Rodgers to run scout team at times. It, it, it gets some of the rust out. So I get it. They're, they're not probably in this next couple games. They're probably not going to use a fullback a whole lot. The guy's getting one point or, or whatever the proration is on the 1.1 yeah. million from being a vested veteran mm-hmm. in the opening day roster. So, look, and, and here's why Aaron Rodgers is always, I guess, attacked in conspiracy media, whatever you want to call it, because he's always on those shows talking about something going on. Well, it's that show. It's not those shows. Or that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that Pat McAfee show. Yeah. He's always on there mm-hmm. every week. Every week. Talking about something. And I think it has become a situation where people are tired of looking at him and hearing him. And then go back all the way to Green Bay. It was kind of like the same thing in, you know, people just kind of like, it's all about him. It's all about him. Most players that are injured and not playing, they go away. <laughs> they just hide. But yeah. they're not Aaron Rodgers, no. and they don't have platforms to be able to, you know, say whatever it is that he's one mm-hmm. message that he wants to get out, whether yep. it's him going in a cave for two weeks in the dark. I, I don't have a problem with what just happened in New York at all. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. You know, I don't know what Joe Douglas is doing, honestly, Skip. And, I, and I've had this conversation a few times because yeah. I didn't know what they were doing when Aaron got hurt and they didn't go get an established veteran like Jacoby Brissett mm-hmm. or, or even try to go get Jameis or anybody, you know, your boy Cooper Rush. Like, yep. take a chance and to get sign, any veteran Go back and sign Joe Flacco back. Yep, Look what he's go. doing. Yep. Go, mm-hmm. go back and sign Joe Flacco. I mean, there was a lot of the good decisions – uh, that people would have saw you make and been like, oh, okay, they're trying to do something. But yep. instead, you wasted a great defense and a great you team did. and some of these great weapons by trusting a Zach Wilson that you had seen the previous year. And so in this situation, I, again, am puzzled and left scratching my head about what Joe Douglas is necessarily doing in this situation. Because as to, to Aaron's point, he said, I'm good with y'all putting me on IR. I don't want nobody to get cut. And what it seems like, the Jets brass said was, hey, this guy's contract is fully guaranteed. We're going to elevate him back on the practice squad. We're going to elevate him on game day because you get to elevate a practice squad a certain amount of times without it counting against the roster spot and, and actually sending him through the waivers and all that. So yep. they're pro- he's likely going to still be active on game day and Aaron's not. But it just seems like a lot to be doing for a quarterback who isn't going to play. You're not in playoff positions. If you're in playoff positions or in the hunt, you'd say, hey, they want to motivate this team. They want to just see, you know, it's a carrot. You see them practicing, you know, having your leader out there would mean something. It means something to have your guy out there saying, hey, if we can get to the end of this road, he can bring us home. Cool. But you're not in that position. So I don't really understand this move at all. Yeah, I I, I don't even know what to say, Skip, because I really don't. But but in the end... I, I can only think that they want to see or uh, give him the opportunity to get reps, like I said, with people around him, and he can throw to the no, receivers. And, and that, okay, that's the same I thing I can think of. I'm going to say it again. Aaron Rodgers is the all-time master media manipulator. He just pulled off becoming year-long the most talked about, written about, debated about New York Jet, and he played four snaps this year. And he managed to keep himself in the center of attention week after week after week by dangling, teasing this little caveat of, I'm going to shatter the mold. I'm going to come back way faster than anybody ever has from Achilles reattachment. And I know, Keyshawn, you've wondered, did he really rupture? I'm, I'm just sure he ruptured. I still, I'm still okay. going to ask I, the question. I, I understand. But... <laughs> I am virtually sure he ruptured that Dr. Elitraj out here in Los Angeles did the surgery. I'm sure he did a great job on the surgery. And I do think Aaron is somewhat ahead of schedule. 
but not so ahead of schedule that he was ever seriously contemplating stepping on a football field in a real NFL game and playing quarterback. I never bought it. I don't think Richard ever bought it. He's been through Achilles rehab himself. I think he would have stepped if they were in playoff contention. This dude's gonna play. I just don't think he would. Yeah, he would have been. If, 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 if they it's were, so if risky. they were in playoff contention, yeah, he was gonna play. Okay, this could be career threatening if you rewrite it. It could be career ending what, right yeah. now. Yeah. So I know right. he was gonna play. Either way. Yeah, either way. What? What? We, we, we got a chance to sit down at dinner with uh, Dr. Elitrosh, and that's the first thing I asked him. Uh, I was like, is this crazy? Like, this seems crazy. And what he said was it could have even been a faster process had Aaron stayed in L.A. and continued to rehab. Him flying back to New York and spending a week there kind of set him back. But to Elitrosh's point, he thought that Aaron could come back even faster than he is now if they just really just got after it and grinded through because of the technique that he used. And I was like, I was dumbfounded as I was having a conversation with him because yeah. some of the terms and some of the terminology and, and, and the techniques that he was describing, you know, kind of went above my head and yeah. above my pay grade. But, um, but the fact that he believed that Aaron could come back and he talked about the Cam Akers situation and how Cam Akers yeah. came back in 19 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but so I do think realistically they were attempting to get him back on the field at this time and at this moment. But there's no point in leaving him active at this point in time. I mean, even if Keyshawn, even if you're, he's throwing to these receivers, they're going to be so pissed off on game day that he ain't throwing to them because it's going to be so good. In practice. They're going to be like, man, I could have been getting this all year and now I got to go back and deal with whatever Trevor Simeon's and no offense to Trevor, but he's not Aaron. No. Yeah. And, and I've played on teams. Skip, where guys have come back from injury and they're not ready to play in games, but they gave us looks on the on the on the uh, scout team. Sure. They, so I can see Aaron taking scout team reps and doing those things. Now, to to go back to what you said about a, a media manipulator, what is he gonna do? He's on TV every single week. Yeah. This is not. <laughs> The backup quarterback. This no. is a future Hall of Famer. What four-time uh, MVP? Is it four? Yeah. Yeah, four-time four. MVP, Super Bowl. Like it's, it, he's not. He can't just go hide in a corner. Even if he was in. Well, he could. No, he could. I mean, couldn't. like you said, well, out of no, sight, he, out of mind. No, if no, you're no, no, no. He's in New York. Yeah. He ain't in Canada. Mm. He's in New York mm -hmm. playing football for the New York Jets. Yeah, but he if he didn't the do the show prized, every week, we wouldn't have been talking about. But he about is it. the most. Prize possession in the offseason acquired by any team. Sure. This past offseason. Well, he was the star of hard knocks leading He up was the to star him. of hard knocks. Mm -hmm. So he can't just go hide. Because guess what? As you worked in New York, I lived in New York, I played in New York, I know about the New York media, they're going to find him. Even if he went somewhere and hid out in the middle of a, 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 a island <clears throat> in Alaska, mm -hmm. yep. they would find him. Well, if he went on a darkness retreat, they wouldn't have found him, right? Because remember, he did that for two weeks. You can't find him on a darkness retreat. Well, I mean, yeah. it's a room that's dark, man. It's not, it's not as bad as he described it. <laughs> okay. But you there's know. supposed to be no yeah, phones, yeah, some, no No, content. there's no phones. Yeah. There's just a room with dark, and you yeah. get your food, and you chill, and you, you know, okay. you mind. California right. stuff. Okay. All I know is I think Aaron is the biggest diva in the history of quarterbacks. <sighs> And I'm one gonna, of them. I, I just think he's at the top of my list. He's one. He's one. Okay. All quarterbacks are divas. To We're be sure they are. Star ones. Well, you, you have to have some in you to play that position. I'm glad you finally. I'm glad okay. somebody finally admitted that the quarterbacks are divas although, and not put it on all receivers. Although no quarterback has been as big a diva as some receivers that I know. That's not they, true. They take the cake. That, that's on not the true. Diva that's not true scale. at all. It's no. not true. No, it's not. Well, what about 19 for the Jets? He, Just give the me the Jets, damn ball. 19 from the Jets was a football player. Oh, I agree okay? with that. He's he, also he, a big he, diva. He showed up every single <laughs> he did. Sunday. Well, so do quarterbacks. Okay? But yeah. here's what I would say about 19 from the Jets. Mm -hmm. He wasn't appreciated by the media, but he's appreciated by him now. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know hey, what you had until it was gone. Talk right? about it. Didn't know until it was gone. Really? Still, still looking to replace him. Really? Still, it's been, I don't even know, 20-something years, they still looking for the replacement. I don't know, Garrett Wilson looks pretty uh, again, good to me. Again, <laughs> they still looking for the replacement. Don't get me started now, Skip. Richard, are you <laughs> buying this? They, they are still <laughs> looking for the replacement. Yeah. I'm just telling you the like, truth. Okay. Well, you're just Skip, if he got his name in the record books, I got, you got to give him credit. You know what I mean? If his name is still etched in them record books, yeah. then he's right. 
I, I just don't think you ever had Richard Sherman covering you while you were a Jet. That's, that's the, a truth. That, that, that would have been a he, different he, story. You know what he's getting ready to try to do? Yeah. He wants you and I to go back and forth for about 30 minutes here. You know, that's what oh, he's trying so to do. kill the clock? You know, that's what he's trying to do. He <laughs> wants me and you. But here's what I would say. Richard Sherman was a nice corner in his day. A nice corner? A nice corner, corner in his day. Would say the best I would love time. to have played against Richard Sherman. Really? Because I played against Prime Everybody. and Ty Law yeah. and Champ Bailey and Sertain and all Those them other, Madison and Al Harris. And so Richard, Richard, you know, he... Nice guy. I like Richard. During, I, I during, never heard Richard called time, a nice corner. I, I don't know. Nice guy. I, I, I like never Richard. heard of him. Elias <laughs> Williams. I mean, I went through a pretty <laughs> good gauntlet. Uh, uh, Keyshawn, no do question. you realize how tall and long Richard Sherman is and how you he realize, can match your physicality? See, you realize, I ain't worried about Richard. Richard's soft. You, re, you, realize, soft? you realize, you realize Keyshawn, I played against Megatron. You realize I, how I played big. against Megatron, Keyshawn. You, you he's huge. That. Yeah, and he's huge. Megatron. But do One you of the realize, greatest to ever play this game. Look, do you realize dudes like Ty Law is not small? They're not, he's not small. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about Ty Law. No, I'm talking Law. about you, Skip. You, Skip I'm said not, big, you like you're that. big, but that dude, Ty Law, okay. is big. Richard is you know? a full six feet, three yeah. inches tall and Skip. long. Skip, yeah, Skip, 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 you can look on, you yes. can look on the all-decade team for my I time. I don't care about no decade teams. I know, usually when people ain't on it, they don't care about it. against anybody. And not I hear you won't put it up it. against Megatrons. It I'll won't, put it, it, won't, up, it won't stand I'll the test of that. I'll put it up it against anybody. Put it up against Julio with 17 different really quarterbacks. Some of the you quarterbacks that was throwing me the ball. Some of the quarterbacks that was throwing really... me the ball, Richard. Yeah. Hey, you, you, I don't even want to go there. 17 hey. different ones in 11 years. I don't even want to go there. Keyshawn, Richard Sherman's going to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm rooting for him. All right. I hope, I hope yeah. that they do it immediately. He what do you got? Be in. Two more years? Two? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Three. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.